Well, well played out there today, Scotty. That might have been a little risky move with the chest bump with Bryson out there, or <laughs> did you feel confident with that? Oh no, what, what do you weigh? Uh, 225 right now. He's only got 20 pounds on me. I got a little height bad. too. <laughs> <laughs> this may be a question for both of you guys. You guys obviously sat during foursomes. You're watching your team out there, knowing you're going to play in four ball. How does that motivate you, or, or how does that you know, sort of set your mindset as you get ready to play in four ball? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we knew pretty early in the week that we were going to sit Friday morning. We had some good uh, foursomes pairings that uh, Captain and all the vice captains liked, and um, they proved themselves pretty good the first day. And so I don't think there was any really thought to substituting in just with how good everybody was playing. And so for us, you know, we had a routine that worked the day before. We played good golf yesterday afternoon. Um, unfortunately, only had a half point, but going into today, um, Bryson slept in, got some rest, and we just got ready to go this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, we felt comfortable with best ball all day. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> Front left. From the uh, standpoint Jeff. of team momentum with, with a lead in hand, how big was 2-2 two -two this afternoon versus going down 3-1? Yeah, personally, I thought we could have gone, you know, 4-0. Um, but getting 2-2 two -two and just staying the same place, uh, you know, the lead that we've created is huge. Um, we, we haven't had this good of an opportunity in a long time. And, you know, hopefully we can uh, get the job done tomorrow. We got to focus like it's you know zero zero again and try and get every point we can. All right, Patrick, go ahead, sir. Number Bryson, three. thank you both. For, congratulations, well done, both of you. Um, job not yet done though, as you've just been mm -hmm. alluding to, Bryson. What is the mindset now? Expand on that. Mm. Uh, again, captains told us that you know it's it's a flat level playing field and you just got to go get every point and fight for every point you can can get um, and every shot you can hit. You know, th there's. Obviously, a lot of great players on the other side, and we got to make sure that uh, we're hitting and executing the right shots at the right time to make sure we give ourselves the best, best chance to win. We uh, have the best players in the world. Um, they've got a lot of the best players in the world too. But you know, from I would say the standpoint of average ranking, I think you know we're pretty solid. We just got to play our game tomorrow. All right, let's um, let's go rapid fire. No re no follow ups. Uh, let's go to number five. You guys are both familiar with the history of this competition. How significant was it that you guys are now 11-5 as opposed to 10-6? I think it's just a big momentum swing um, from our match to be going one down, going into 14, and then the potential of it being 10-6 again like it was at Medina. And then um, for us to be able to flip that match was huge. And to be able to win the last match on Saturday is also good momentum as well. And you know, like Bryson said, uh, just go out tomorrow. Everything's a level playing field. I think we got a lot of guys on this team that really hate losing. And so mm -hmm. individual matches tomorrow, I think the guys are going to be fired up and ready to play and um, hopefully finish this thing off. Let's go 8-7, Todd, then Shane, and wrap it up. Bryson, early in the match, you seemed frustrated that you weren't given a short putt, uh, mm -hmm. and that has happened several times in several matches. I is there friction between the two teams in regards to conceding putts? No, I think I, I understand their point of view. Sometimes really early on in the match, it's kind of like they're trying to see what um, – you know how your putting is is in the beginning. I understand that, but you know, for me it was two two and a half feet. It was it was nothing. It was straight up the hill. It's one of those things that for me I felt like probably should have been given just as a courtesy, but it wasn't. I knocked in the hole and kind of made a funny gesture just in, in good jesting, and uh, you know that got me a little heated up for the rest of the round. Shane seven. Uh, Bryson, from afar, it seems like there's a lightness about you that I personally haven't seen. Again, from afar, do you feel like you're having fun? And when was the last time you had this much fun in the golf course? Yeah, well, it's, it's fun and stressful. I mean, I'm trying to definitely have as much fun as I can. Uh, obviously, having Scotty by my side has made it a little easier on, in certain situations, which is awesome. He always keeps it light. And I think he's been a big testament to that this week, just playing with him and, and having that good-minded spirit uh, around all the time. Gentlemen, Thank thanks for finding us and making the time. Have a Thank good you. evening, okay? Thank you. Thank you all.